Why do we do that every time? Every time. <laughs> you guys, we have the next update for our IVF journey. And right off the bat, we are super excited because I started my cycle like a full week earlier than we thought we were going to. So we are like a week ahead in our IVF journey. Right closer. We're closer. The line. We're so much closer. Um, so I'm currently on cycle day five, which means that by the next two weeks, I should be starting my very first part of the IVF stimming process, which is wild to think about. It is wild. It's so wild. Um, today we have some few things, some few things. We have a few things that we do. Our semaphore kits to do some genetic testing to make sure that we're not like carriers for any diseases. So we're gonna open that up and see what on this camera. Is all about. See yeah, I have scissors right here. Be careful not to show this oh, side, right. babe. Okay, this is harder to open than I thought. I win. Please. Patient open. Thomas Schweers. Oh really? You yours is one and mine is one? Yes. Patient semi schweers. <gasps> okay. Keep forgetting that I'm 33 years old. Why? Do you think you're younger? Yeah, I do. That's funny. All right. I'm going to open it up. And so it is a patient centered health intelli intelligence company dedicated to advancing healthcare through data driven results. Ooh. Okay. I wonder why your package was so much bigger. Important four steps. Peel off the green label below, affix to the test requisite, submit all forms with your sample attachment of the labels to the enclosed stock card. Attach green barcode label to the kit. Use sample collection device found in your kit to collect a saliva sample. Hold funnel near your mouth and spit until amount of saliva reaches fill line. Ugh. So basically we have to spit in a tube. So we have to spit in a tube. And they're gonna check for all these different things. Yeah. To make sure we're happy, healthy. Happy, healthy. Looks uh, like this is the tube. We have to spit inside of this tube until we reach the line. So. Are you hydrated? Not really. Cause That's you're not a decent amount of spit. Eat or drink or chew gum or anything 30 minutes beforehand. So we're going to. Start spitting in here until the spit, not the lines, get there. Okay, and that's then, step one. That's step two. Um, we close the lid tightly until we hear a click. Then we unscrew the top and put in this little solution at the top. Oh. But we wait until we get here. Shake the cap tube for five seconds. Mm -hmm. All right. Should we have a little bit of a race? No, I don't want to. You don't want to? Mm -mm. No, because... You just say you're going to lose. I don't want to, like... A mouse. Cheers. Happy spitting. <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> it's ew, 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 ew. I can't handle that sound. Can you not do that? <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> oh Damn it, it's not that bad. I really will. Mm. I, you can't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I can't do this with you. It She's so dramatic. Oh no. Okay. Tom, I can't do this with you. Why? Because that. Then we, we have to do this as a team. I know, but I can't. Wait. <laughs> stop, stop, please. Seriously, I'm going to throw up. Please stop. Okay. I have to go outside to do mine. I seriously right. can't. Please stop. I can't so. hear you do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that is funny. Okay. <clears throat> I'd like a good first spit, but I think I'm gonna have, I'm like drying out now. I haven't, I went for a run this morning and I ran a lot and I haven't replenished my fluids, so this might take a minute. <laughs> so here we are, spitting into our tubes. Demi's outside. She can't handle the the noise that I was making, so... You know, we'll just do this part independently and then we'll come back and do the rest as a team. Are you done? I'm done. You're done? Yeah. You beat me? Yeah. I'm not done, no. It can't be bubbles. 
No, it, there are going to be bubbles. No, but the, it seems the spit needs to go up to the top, not the bubbles. Yeah. My, my spit just has to win. I'm not even close. I think I... <laughs> go finish outside, I can't do it. <laughs> Yours looks foamy. Yeah, because I just wanted to get it done. Oh, I think I did too much. You just drank it. <laughs> Dumb, it's not funny for me. Just, just take a little shot. <laughs> I'll drink yours. Stop. Will you finish yours? Are you, do you want me to go outside? No, I literally have no liquid in my mouth. I just, I ran you have a bunch to. of miles and did not replenish any Look, I'm way above the line. Is there something floating in there? No, those are bubbles. <laughs> All right, cheers. No. No? Are you going to do yours outside or do you want me to? I'll go outside. Yo, I didn't know I was that squeamish over spit. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea Demi was that dramatic. Oh. Uh, Come on, boy. Let's go spit outside. Let's go spit outside. You guys, that seriously is like so gross to me. I can't. I can't. I can't handle it. Hold on, wait, let me turn this away. Um, I went over the fill line, so I have to like dump some out, which is like actually even more gross to me. So let me just do that. Ew. Oh, I think I did too much. I did too much. Yeah, this is so gross. I don't like this. I am going to close the lid. Close lid tightly by pushing down hard on the funnel lid until you hear a click. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that. Oh, wow. I think all the stuff in the top fell down. Unscrew the funnel from the tube. Okay, I'm gonna wait for Tom. He's taking a really long time. That's embarrassing. And he wanted to race? He wanted to race me? Mm -mm. Here he comes, he's back. All I'm right. finished. All right. Them. Push down your cap. I had to do that part already. It's not Push. over the fill line, right? It, it, no, it means tiny, okay. tiny, tiny bit. Ready? Until I'm just pushing this down. Uh -huh. I don't want to get any backsplash. It won't. Splash. It won't. No. Yeah, yeah, hold it. I don't want to touch your spit. Then what if the results come back and I'm oh. half man, half robot? <laughs> what do you think? That would be wild. All right. Would so you be surprised? Yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, number three, unscrew the funnel from the tube and use a small cap to slight. My mouth is so dry I know. right now. So is mine. <laughs> use a small cap to close the tube tightly. So get your little, little, little cap. Your little cap out of your little kit. Okay. And then we screw this off. What? Are... That's what it says. Are you to sure? Do. It's done? Yeah. And you screw this on tightly, like so. All right, you sure? Shake the cap tube for five seconds. All right, I'm gonna set a timer. Wait one second. The blue part goes over top. No, babe. All right. That's not how caps work. Ready? Three, two, one. I feel like I'm a uh, bartender. So now. My mouth is so dry right now. I need, I need some water. I need some serious water. Okay. You got it. All right. Sample is collected. And then I need to do my little foldies. And then we have a FedEx bag that we put this in. We can't mix up our spit stem. Can't mix up your Sometimes spit. Sometimes we do swap spit though. Ew. We do. 
Disgusting. I'm talking about one you like me go. Ah. Wait. I'm looking. Let me seal the top. Just like that. Just like that. All right. We are one step closer. These are ready to be shipped. I'm going to put them by the stairs. And then... We can do like the next part of this little YouTube talking about all the things and giving all the information over at our usual spot over here. Sure. We'll, we'll cut this, bring you over here, and then give you all the dirty details. <laughs> all the dirty details. All? All the things. All right, let's All baby schmears things. <laughs> You're cute, bye. Let's do it. All right, we are back for the second part of our little vlog on the update of our IVF journey. We're vlogging so hard today. We are vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, all right, where do we start? What do we want to start with? Let's start with our plans okay. in the next months or so. All right. So I guess the first thing to mention would be that I started my cycle, which is amazing. Today is cycle day five. So we weren't anticipating me to start my cycle until next week. So a week ahead. I think we already mentioned that. Uh, but what does that mean that we're a week ahead? So that means on, was it the 16th? There's no chance you should ask me about dates. Okay. <laughs> I think it was the 16th. I'm going to start taking estradiol, estradiol um, which is an estrogen pill to make sure that my body stays within the correct levels. And I don't um, start my cycle any um, time other than that. So I'll be starting that on day 16 of my cycle and stopping it on, I think I take it for five days. And then after that, I should be starting the next cycle which would be the end of July. Okay. And what I'm is that? To, I'm trying to follow along with you. Here. <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> and that puts us at July, like 26. And okay. what is happening at that time thing? We are going to start the stimming. Mm -hmm, but where? In Buffalo, New York. Yeah, so <gasps> we are moving, not moving, but we're, we're going to temporarily relocate to Buffalo, New York for this IVF journey. That's where our treat doc, doctor treatment center, what do you want to say? Both, yeah. Both, yeah, that's where it is. So it's only three hours away. Mm -hmm. And we're staying with my best friend. Demi's best friend, which is so much fun. It's yeah. going to be awesome. She's also pregnant, so. Also pregnant. Not pr well, let's she speak is it pregnant. into existence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's, she is pregnant, mm -hmm. and Demi is going to get pregnant. Yes. And it's kind of like a full circle moment because when we were pregnant for the first time in January, she was one of the very first people I told and she was also pregnant and we were like two weeks apart from one another. And, um, I feel like it's coming full circle because she is due in August and we will be in Buffalo staying with her and her husband and their son at the end of July into August. So I can't I, wait. I feel like it's like a full circle moment. I feel like it's exactly what should be happening. The timing. Yeah. Didn't is, she find out about her first pregnancy at our wedding? Like right before our wedding. Yeah. Right like the day of or the day before or something. Yeah. 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 So that is like really special to us. Um, but yeah, so we'll be moving temporarily relocating moving Buffalo, New York. to Buffalo. Watch out. We're coming for it. Uh, which is, we're excited about that. It'll be nice. I have family there. So we'll see friends and family and, um, we'll get this whole process started. Yeah. Which is wild. And like, we got the bag of medication. You guys Yo, look how big this is. It's bigger than my head. And some of these needles are Huge. So much medication. That's <sighs> bonkers. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull one of that's, these out. That's not even. No, I don't think that we're allowed to. I think it's like hazardous no. material. I think we'll get in oh. trouble to do all that. Um, the guidelines. The guidelines. Parameters. But this isn't even everything. There's that's, more in the fridge. That's an insane amount of medication. And you're gonna be having to administer my shots. One of the shots is three milliliters. One point five. Huge. It's a big needle. Huge, thick. Ugh. Well, I be will. So hard. I'll do my absolute best, and I'll be confident and professional. Yes. And 
there for you and all that good stuff because it's it doesn't look like it's gonna be fun okay serious question yeah should i buy you a male nursing outfit <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> yes oh, like we're goodness. talking like stockings mm -hmm. and uh one, like a really thing. tight like zip up thing mm -hmm. some gloves yes oh my god i can picture it. it's perfect <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'll look on Amazon. Oh my god. Uh, but um, yeah, Nurse Tom is going to be helping me out and we'll be doing the stimming process. And then, um, do you think you can like elaborate what happens after the stim process? Uh, no. No? I know about this. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> so after the stim process, um, we will do the egg retrieval and let's hope that we are able to retrieve a good amount of eggs. I don't want to go through this again. Um, and typically like in the egg retrieval process, I think on average people aren't able to retrieve like 15 eggs okay. because I have PCOS. I have more, um, than the average person. So I'm hoping that we're able to stim and get a really large egg retrieval, which would increase our chances of getting pregnant. Um, because we'd have more embryos to choose from and the quality of those could be better in some of them if we have more. So we will do a retrieval at the end of July, possibly early. No, it will be early August. It will definitely be early August um, because the stimming will be end of July. Okay. And um, if that goes well, hopefully we'll be able to do a fresh transfer, um, which means that nothing is like frozen up at that time. There's no testing done, like chromosomal testing. It'll just be as if we got pregnant, like naturally, like you don't know what, what the you worded that like. really well. Did I? Yeah. Like, I don't know how I would have explained it, but <laughs> <laughs> you did a much better job than well, anything I would have done. I've been reading probably way too much information yeah, on this. That makes sense. Um, but I have to make sure that my levels are at an appropriate level to do a fresh transfer. And if they're not, that's okay. We're already preparing for that. We will get the rest of the embryos, um, tested to make sure chromosomally they are all healthy. And um, if we don't do a fresh transfer in August, then come end of August, early September, we would do a frozen transfer. So um, if all goes well, worst case scenario, if we get pregnant first time, we would be pregnant by end of September. Best case scenario, we would be pregnant end of August, which is like two months away. That's so great. Which is so wild to mm -hmm. me. Actually, no, <gasps> because if I get pregnant next cycle, then technically I would be pregnant. Then like technically I would have gotten pregnant at the end of this month because like you're pregnant from the day of your first, the day, the first day of your cycle. Like that's from when you're pregnant from. So it like <laughs> could be pregnant from the end of July. So by the end of August, I'd be one month pregnant already. You know how that Yes, do you works? see how brain, Demi's brain just is like <laughs> <clears throat> always working and mine's like, I'm going to need a second. I'm going to need a minute. Well, because when a woman's pregnant, like you're actually really pregnant for 10 months. But that first month, like you've had your period and then you ovulate and then the egg um, fertilizes and implants. I know. So like when, like last, like the first time I got pregnant, really we got pregnant in December. And mm -hmm. by the end of January, I was... Yeah. Okay. already like six weeks yes but we found out like the last week of december okay because you have to ovulate and then you test takes, yeah it takes a while. so like it's you're technically pregnant for 10 months so i guess technically <laughs> speaking if i do a fresh transfer and it sticks then i might be actually pregnant at the end of july which july starts tomorrow that would be crazy that would be insane. Now, we don't know that this would happen, but that's but let's that's, like, that's like wishful, wishful, wishful. Thing. That's if we do it fresh and it okay. works. Got it. Yep. If not, then I'll be pregnant end of July, which is still Either amazing. Way. Either way. Anyway, actually. End of August. We're going to be happy. As long as they're healthy. Yeah. Now, Demi, talking about this whole egg retrieval and fertilization process, mm -hmm. I know that we can... Like with IVF, we could like choose almost yeah. whether we wanted a girl or a boy or whether we would want to know. Mm -hmm. 
I know kind of, I think I know where I stand. I don't know exactly where you stand. I don't know where you stand at all. <laughs> where do you stand? Well, so let's elaborate. So if we don't do a fresh transfer, um, then they send the, the embryos off for genetic testing to make sure that they're chromosomally um, like healthy. And during that time, they also find out the gender of them. So if we do a frozen transfer, then we would be able, we have the opportunity to way. say if we want to fertilize with a male or female embryo. And we also have the opportunity to be surprised and let them just choose the healthiest. And then we can find out like normally at, at what is it? Like the 12 week scan. Oh, Kona wants to come inside. I want to get it. So that's, that's what Tom's talking about. Come here, sweet girl. Hi, sweet baby. Is your mommy sweet girl? Sweet she didn't girl. want to be left out. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. We love you. Oh, hi. Oh, you're Are you star excited of the show. to be a big sister? Are you going to be a big sister? Star of the show. Did you have fun outside? Were you listening to the birdies? Yes. She's like, mm, I actually want more pets. I <laughs> she's like, Is that your dirty? she's like, I want to be in this video. Sweet girl. Sweetest girl. Um, God, I love you. She's so good and she's so sweet. But um, yeah, so if we do a frozen, Tom and I are going to have to make that decision. I have no idea where he stands on it. We haven't fully <clears throat> talked about it. We'll say it on three. Well, what are we saying? I don't know. One. Two, three. I, want I think pick. I want to be surprised. <laughs> I want to be. I you think want to be I'd, surprised? Yeah, I, I. That's just kind of where I am. I don't know. That's a. It's an interesting thing. Mm -hmm. It's so foreign of a concept to me. Yeah. That you know the most familiar concept is not knowing. Yeah. And then finding out. So that's kind of where I am. But we'll see. So the reason that I want to pick is because. I've always had an inkling of what our first child is going to be. And because we're not, we're doing this in a more scientific way than a natural way. I feel like that can change what like our true destiny was supposed to be. Yeah. So for I know those reasons, I kind of want to choose. And if you were to choose, I don't want to tell them what I, I would choose. Know. I know you already yeah. know, but I don't want to say hi, Kona, because um, because then you guys will know what gender we're having right away, and we want to have like a reveal for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you, Thanks. Kona? Did you do it on camera? <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't you? The Kona fart for sure. Sweet girl, you got you. That sounds really. Bad. It's okay. We love you still. You know, you got a stinky butt. Uh -huh. Well, she's yeah, showing she's, us her bone. Here's her bone. Okay. Well, yeah, let's let's ignore her for a little bit and okay. she'll settle down. But yeah, that's if we do a frozen. We're not sure if that's going to happen. So we'll see. We'll see. We will see. Okay, this is going to be so loud, sweet girl. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. What, anything else to cover? So we're going to Buffalo. We're starting July 16th. We'll be in Buffalo. End I'll of be July. giving Demi shots. Tom will be giving me shots every day, every single day. How, for how long? I don't a know. A week and a half. Well, it we're not sure because it just depends on how the stimming process go. I don't want to be overstimmed. I don't want to be understimmed. So while we're in Buffalo, like every other day, I'll be going into the doctor's office and getting ultrasounds and testing to measure how things are going. So and that's depends. why we're going up to Buffalo because we do have to have go in every other day. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So. Do you trust me? I trust you with my life. Okay. Do you not trust me? No, I don't trust myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna take care of you. I think that you will. Mm -hmm. I think you're gonna do a real good job. Thanks, then. I'm gonna be daddy Schmears. <gasps> You'll be a real daddy, not just a daddy. I think I'm ready to be a real daddy. Are you? Real dad. <laughs> 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 I just want it. <laughs> I'm ready to be a real daddy. <laughs> but you know what? You are a dad. We have two angel babies. We do have two angel babies. We do. 
And um, it's time to have a little baby, baby Shreers on Earth. Yeah. It is. <sighs> All right. So I think we did a great job updating. I think, I think that's we a did really a, good update. I think we did a great job vlogging. Mm -hmm. I think we're officially vlogsters. We are vlogsters. I think between now and the 16th, we will do like a Q&A. So any questions that you guys have for us about our journey, about IVF, about any of the processes we're going through, we will do that on Instagram. And then I think our next vlog will be like a Q&A answering those questions for you guys, um, which in turn like might help educate Blah, blah. might help educate us even more on the process. We learned so much on yeah. social media from our, our people. From our peeps, from our fam. And also, if you have gone through IVF and you're a couple, or you personally have gone through IVF, um, please, please, please share all the tips and tricks. Leave them in the comments below. They are so beyond appreciative, appreciated. And um, we'll be needing all of it. Like, we really will. Yeah. We really, really will. And we're excited to take you on this journey. I'm going to say the cheesy thing. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> we have to get used to saying that. Never in my life did I think that would those words that? would come out of my mouth. Yeah. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all our IVF updates. <laughs> <laughs>